Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going Q2 of the Weekly Contest 398, Special Array 2. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this one, there are a couple of ways to do it. I did it with binary search, but you can actually do it even better with, well, I mean, it depends on whether you care about space or whatever. So I'm going to actually optimize this a little bit uh, or rewrite it in a different way. Maybe that's a little bit cleaner, maybe not, we'll see. But the idea here, the first idea is that um, there are some breakages, right? Meaning here, for example, 2 and 6, that means any query that goes between these two numbers will be false. And everything that doesn't happen between two numbers, that's true. So this is how I did it. I go, okay, well, if any number, and this is should be the same code as Q1, but I, you know, it's, it's I, I rewrote it anyway. I mean, because it's different. Uh, yeah, so if... The number num sub i is not the same as num sub i plus 1 over 2, over mod 2, sorry. Um, then we add a number here. And basically the idea here is that if in the beginning and the end, if there's a number in between, that means that there's a number a gap in between, you know, like for example this one and so forth, and 3 and 1 for example, then that means that there is, uh, yeah, if there's no gaps, then there are no, num no numbers in between, and the numbers mean there's no break, and that means that the query is good. If there is, then you have a false answer, and that's basically it. This is going to be O of n space and O of log n times q, q times, right? Um, but you can also actually allocate a little bit more. I mean, this is O of n space in the worst case, but in theory, it could be more efficient. But... Another way to do it is with prefix sum, right? Basically, you calculate the prefix, the number of breakages for each thing, and then you just kind of do um, a, a, a delta on each one. And that's basically the idea, really, right? And yeah, uh, that's the So for the way that I did it, it's going to be O of n plus q log n time, O of n plus q. Q space. The Q space is, of course, for the answer. Um, you can optimize this a little bit um, to get rid of this log n factor with a prefix array, but I'm not going to do that. I thought I might, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. I actually, if you watch the live version, I did actually worry a little bit about I did a lot of silly mistakes, but ultimately did get it correctly. So, yeah, that's all I have for this one. You could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. True, true force. All right, YOLO. All right. Oh, huh. So it is kind of the same, but not. Mm. Hmm. So we just have to, like, uh, Okay, yeah, 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 okay. So we just basically find the bricks and then we do a binary search and then we do, okay, fine. Yeah, 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 okay. So something like this, right? Uh, how do I want to mark it? Eh, this is such a thing that can have off by one errors, but not that bad. Huh. Uh, okay, if this is the case, then we're going to store i, maybe. And then... Mm, uh, this is off by one heaven. We're going to use it to make silly mistakes. Okay, so if we store i, we want to say... Bricks is the thing between the i element and i plus one element. Okay, fine. Uh, for start n in queries, uh, we have an answer, right? Uh, so if they what happens if they're the same? Then okay. Man, this is like <laughs> type off by one heaven. Okay. Um. Mm, what 
does that mean? So, okay, so that to be exactly the same because if they're not the same index, then okay, that's not good. Okay, so yeah, so if if left is not equal to right, then answer dot append did not equal to right. That means there is a break in between, and a break in between means that it is not special, right? So then, yeah. I don't know. This is way error from. Uh, okay, well that's good too. Uh, okay, I don't know the apparently I am a new. Uh, this is why you don't copy and paste, friends. I said, wait, why? Well, so what, what am I doing? Mm, tell me why. Zero is going to return one. The brick is at four. So they are the same. Am I doing this weird? Zero to four. Four. Oh, uh, this is bisect, right? Is it? Because this is off by one kind of thing. All right, I'm moving my eye because of allergies instead. Um. Okay, so four. It's going. They're both returning the same index. So the same index. That's actually good, but here. I think I want this to be n minus one or i minus one. Zero, one, two, three is a little bit awkward. Okay, so three and then four is gonna be. Wait, what? What? I think I messed up anyway. <laughs> I think I just flipped the things. But that's still like very awkward. I'm not confident about this at all just because the I think I just flipped the signs to be honest. But zero to four. Alright, let's just print some stuff out. Zero and one, okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Maybe it's good. I'm I'm so not confident about this. Okay. That one is so easy to get off by once. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem, this review, everything in between. Stay good, stay happy. Uh, yeah, to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.